This man Nasi consistently blows my mind with how he writes his complex shit and doesn't even allow you to find out the deeper meaning behind the text that he conveys. Instead, you can't find the deeper meaning by just suffer his level of reading but by deeply analyzing the text themselves. He wouldn't say 1 plus 1 equals 2, he'd say the basic language of arithmetic and first the addition of 1 and 1 being 2. Alas, these discoveries led me to making this video, as the title suggests, a complete description of the quantum mechanics behind the Nasiverse. Starting with the more basic one, it is briefly mentioned by Reen Tosaka that both in real space and the imaginary number space, from a higher dimensional perspective, the lower dimensional world appears to be a flat scroll and a book, in other words, fictional. And then she goes on to explain how the imaginary number space works, in which she elaborates on it being a high dimensional space that works just like that. Similar to an including space which is incantably infinitely greater than a lower dimensional including space, which is a mathematical representation of reality fiction, the imaginary number space as well as real space works under this notion. We know real space should work under Euclidean space as it assumes heavily a lot of quantum mechanics elements. A non Euclidean space was briefly mentioned when Shigi Yogi battled Soren Ira. When the latter creates an infinite non Euclidean space which is depicted to be different than real space, which would infer that real space is an Euclidean space. This was explained when Shigi Yogi was about to cut the space. Using her mystic eyes, it's explained how she's capable of doing that, by the way, because of her connection to the root, which transcends the idea of infinity being recursively stacked and definite. Which I'll save this explanation of the aspect of the root when I cover the more philosophical aspects of the Nasiverse in my next video. But the space Araya created as mentioned beforehand is depicted to be distinct from real space in the way how it works. It seems like a more implication of the Nasiverse saying, real space is including that works under the vector scalar of real numbers. Further context on how high dimensional being works stems from the remake of Tsukihime. When Kiara of the Tsukihime world gains high dimensional perspective, which even that alone is enough to make her an eye omnipotent in lower dimensions. With all of that being said, because her physical body was lower dimensional, she essentially got bullied by the high dimensional beings until she gave up those senses, just to live a normal life as a lower dimensional being giving her the sense of appreciation of having her ontological limits and understanding just how fragile she is, how there can be even more powerful beings beyond the scope of her knowledge. Now for the more complex notion in the Nosiverse. Starting with possibilities, well, the first texture of humanity is an infinite universe. An infinite universe with its infinite stars and its own concepts. This was with the help of the mystic eyes which we know as per explanation beforehand in the battle of Ira and Ryogi using the mystic eyes which are connected to the absolute being of the Nosiverse, the soul of the root, can cut any and all infinities within the Nosiverse which already Ryogi has done once on her own. So the tone of perceiving infinity just as Shiki Ryogi could is perfectly logical as any amount of infinity in the mystic eyes of death is just another small room. This is all perceived in the surface texture of humanity. Now what a surface texture or a texture in general is, is a fabric of reality or space-time in a singular planet. It is a self-contained space-time, universe, multiverse or whatnot in a singular planet, in this case is planet Earth. The surface texture that we were just discussing is where humans dwell. It is dominated by the laws of physics that humans require to exist unlike the reverse side of the world, which is beyond such laws of physics of the surface texture and functions under its own laws. The surface texture is this infinite universe that branches into possibilities, countless possibilities which consistently branch and exist as parallel worlds. This allows for a being A and B to exist in two separate worlds existing as a possible outcomes of the initial being C. That is to say, the beings become superposed into two possible outcomes, being C chose becoming being A or B even though the choices themselves are that which create the possible worlds. The choices people make create uncountable possible worlds as said in the, in the case files and exist as parallel worlds as seen here. Seems familiar? If you've watched my video on Manuel's Interpretation Theory, yes it is Manuel's Interpretation Theory. How do we know that this is exactly Manuel's Interpretation Theory though? Well, let's look closer in the context that we get in the case files novel or light novel in Nosiverse. 
Just after explaining the existence of possibilities, Zephyr speaks of the possibilities in a way that they behave wave-like, saying that they converge on the same wavelength but never leap onto another. In quantum theory, well, a subcategory of that, Manuel's interpretation theory tells us that the underlying nature of physical objects is wave-like and branching as well. This corresponds to the Nosovers and how the parallel worlds which are physical quantities are wave-like. What's even fascinating about this and that never even caught my eyes about these possibilities can be calculated in the same way how probability distribution works in quantum mechanics. Except this time probability distribution pertains to the physical quantities of these parallel worlds. Zephyr states that he can calculate the wavelength with the highest possibility of occurring or determine a possible outcome from calculating the wavelength's probable or probability distribution. However, it is impossible to calculate the probability distribution of the entire system as new possibilities continuously branch over and over again. Which, if you remember when I explained Manuel's interpretation theory, Einstein proved how difficult it is for quantum theory to provide a complete description of reality and all its possible physical quantities of it and all its probability distributions alike. To which led to Hugh Everett establishing the universal wave function where it exists in the infinite dimensional Hilbert space we can infer the same issue being fixed in the Nosovers, the universal wave function should exist to resolve that. This is not the only evidence that we get for many worlds interpretation theory existing within the Nosovers, but another piece of evidence that caught my eye after I did more in-depth research on quantum theory is the past being uncertain just as much as the future, which is also briefly mentioned in the Nosovers, specifically the case files. The past is uncertain in the Nosovers just as much as the future. Not only that, but time exists as a separate vector to space. This relates to quantum theory as well, specifically the notion of time-symmetric interpretation in quantum theory. It crafts the existence of retrocausality in which the events in the future affecting the events in the past just as much as the events in the past can affect the events in the future. This was pretty mind-blowing when I made a discovery of this, the fact that this nigga Nasu sneaked all of this without me even noticing is crazy. And the most interesting information about this is that the time symmetric causality favors the manual's interpretation theory and is well known to be compatible with it. Hmm, sounds suspicious, if you ask me. There are also sub evidences like the subworlds in the mirror world existing as quantum superposition, as Bezet states and goes on to be called Schrodinger's cap box theory, and many more which I sadly won't be going through at least for now. What's even crazier about this is what I discovered that preceded this discovery of budget causality and time symmetric theory in the NASA versus discovery between the relationship of real space and the imaginary number space. There was something about the imaginary number space which appeared to be like a pseudo state space of quantum mechanics. There was just nothing for me to actually back up that hypothesis of mine to actually form a grounding for the argument. But I'm here now. Scotty states that the imaginary number space contains all possibilities. The issue is that they are not observable. The difference between real space and the imaginary number space, which the term imaginary has been referred to as complex, alas, the imaginary number space is referred to as complex number space, means that real space is real number space, which leads us to the actual differences between the real space and the imaginary number space. Scotty states that there are different operators in this case, the scalar operators where real number space has its probability distribution calculated by using the scalar operator of real numbers and the imaginary number space uses the scalar operator of complex numbers. Both of them contain all possible quantum outcomes in which real space continuously actualizes all those possible outcomes and the imaginary number space similarly not having a fixed idea of space-time because of, well, for it also containing all possible quantum outcomes and they're continuously being actualized within it as also, it is said to contain all logical coordinates or whatnot, which corresponds to it having, well, all possible quantum outcomes, just as I said. Which leads to its size not being fixed by rather continuously growing or whatnot. The strange thing about this is that people's understanding of quantum theory does not lead to them understanding the nature of complex numbers within the Nosferas. They haven't quite reached that level yet. Sadly, just as much as the characters as a result of this cannot provide a full description of the imaginary number space, neither can I. Sadly, because the planet is the only one that runs under the laws of physics, we wouldn't dwell deeper into the metaphysics of the Nosoverse, as after that, it's mostly going to be philosophical. 
just save for another video. Hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe and like for more Nosiverse, power skilling, and more educational content in general. And I'll catch y'all later. See ya.